Hi, this is Bojana from BIM Object Germany. Welcome to this introduction of the on-level railing system TL3010. I am accessing these products via integrated BIM Object application for Archicad. To browse or search for a particular product of a manufacturer, you can use the filter functions by searching by brand, on-level, by BIM Object categories and file types. For searching more specific products, you can also use the advanced search and filter functions below. So here we have the product page of the railing TL3010. Within the product page you will find a short product presentation with examples. For more information about the manufacturer, simply click on the brand's logo. Here you will get more information about the brand and you can contact the manufacturer or visit their homepage. Let's go back to the product page of the product. Here you will find a description and specification text about this particular system. Links back to manufacturer's homepage for further details, related information and classification. Within the region tab you will find an overview about the countries where you can get on levels railing. In the download menu we can simply download the Archicad GSM files through our application. To use these files as intended you must also download the on level macro library too. By downloading the files via our integrated app the files are automatically loaded into your project. Now I'm going to place the on-level railing along this platform here. For a more accurate placement we change to the plan view. In the object settings you will find the on-level corner and balustrade library where the objects can be configured pre or post placement into a project. In the user interface of the product you can configure the glass height, top covers for outer and inner side of the profile, the handrail type and the glass thickness. Here in the preview settings you can view the current modified railing prior to confirming your modifications or configuration. Further settings in the UI are options for the glass, handrail and profile color. There are also two glass fixing options and further options for the mounting surface type. In the next steps, you will get an overview of the horizontal connection types, the vertical cutting options, the 2D and 3D representation where you can configure to scale sensitive and detailed. And on the last step, you can go back to the manufacturer's homepage and download the technical description if required. After this is done, simply press OK and place the object into your project. By using the hotspots you are able to move the object in right position and you can change the cutting angle for a corner solution and stretch the railing to fit to the size of your platform. Simply copy the railing and rotate it for the next side. We now change views to a 3D view. In the 3D view, hotspots allow you to modify the angle of the railing to place it along your floor accordingly. In the east elevation, you can use again the hotspots to cut the railing vertically and change the angle to overlap the railing parts to get the intersection point for cutting as I am doing here. If you can't reach the intersection point in elevation view, go back to the 3D perspective and drag the hotspot till it fits. So, if you have a right angled floor, you can go to the object settings and use on levels corner object. As stated earlier, in the user interface, you can select the mounting option, the corner type and the color. Simply place the object to the corner of your floor and again use the balustrade object to finish your railing. This on-level railing system can be used for Archicad 15 and later versions. Lastly, these objects include a list of components as you see here for my current project file. These objects are available now on bimobject.com. Thanks for watching.